Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM's Operation Skyface. Very intimidating sounding operation name. Uh, we got to destroy the alien relay. It's a difficult mission. There's a lost component <laughs> and uh, really cool reward of Maxwell Conrad as a corporal Marine. We're taking out Akira and Spud, Wind, Rogue, and Houdini. Let's rock and roll, shall we? Deployed. So today's log is coming from Hootie, and a lot of the or the past three logs, well, this one in the past two, um, were all related to mocks because I had to record these all in advance for the weekend. So, while a team of mocks was encountered and defeated by XCOM today, my brother was not a part of the team. This is Evan Prowler White, the soldier that Hootie writes for. While I still hold out hope that we may one day find a way to reverse the effects of the brainwashing, I know this is highly unlikely to happen. Knowing this, I hope that when the day comes where XCOM fights him on the battlefield, he'll be given a quick and painless death. We'll see. We can't pass up any opportunities to disrupt their progress on the latest operation. So we're moving in to take Oh my god. Neutralize any hostile my frames. Near the site. Lock it down and destroy the target. Metis 1-5. The communications relay is up ahead. Move Ooh, what's that? Destroy the target. As I expected, that little guy. Commander, there are significant readings indicative of the lost moving throughout the combat zone. Be careful out there. Hmm. Do we try to go up and over? I think probably, but. Oh, hello. Purifier. Purifier? <laughs> Purifier? Purifier. Duelist trooper. Affirmative. Copy that. Look at ours. You know this guy's gonna blow up, right? Like, no matter what I do. He's going to blow up for sure. Risky click of the day. Uh oh. We got mutons. Oh, what the hell else was back there? Uh-oh. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Spud. Okay, well, this... I was hoping that we could reach there. Good to go. Wind. Mobility leaves a little bit to be desired. At 11. Got it. Okay. So we do have that faction card in play where we're not going to be... Um, Uh, the timer's not going to start until we break concealment. I just want to get Spud in a more optimal position so he can kind of oversee this area. But we're going to have to engage here. We'll wait to act until he's ready. So there's a mech down there. Is that what that is? Yeah. Cool. That's great. I wonder, do I just blast down here and for the best? If I move back to this position, at least, we can take care of this little loss contingent. Position confirmed. 
Understood. Moving out. I know this is a very extended setup here, but still. See ya. Check it before you get too close. Okay, so there's another one down there. Just getting to overwatch him. We could probably have shuffled down a little bit. Rare miss from Spud. Okay, let's get it out of our system early. Okay, I'm going to see if we can pull that other pod that we saw earlier. Looks clear. On the way. You know, something's happening. Couple more lost. Come on now. What did you expect? So for whatever reason, I'm still unable to get the uh, World War Lost working correctly. It's kind of a bummer. We do have the uh, auto loader on here now, which is quite nice. We had a mod last season, and I don't... Oh, yeah. No, I do still have it. Okay, cool. So we have the option to, like, not force to use that reload if we don't want to. Now we'll advance with these guys on the ground, the spud watching from above. Oh, I'm always pumped when a Templar hits. You know it's going to be good. Uh-oh. I don't like that howl that we just heard. Jesus. Snipers. <laughs> of anybody that shouldn't be hitting, it's those two. Yeah, see, that's what caught. That's the giveaway. You knew that was about to happen because the lost made the moans. Jesus H. Damn. It's dead. It has to be dead. To try and fix the World War Lost thing too, we've cleared configs. We've done all sorts of stuff. Just there must be something weird that's like it's incompatible with certain other things. I have no idea. I really need to trigger the, uh, I kind of want to get those, that other alien group's attention in the back so that they can fight some of these lost. Strategically, that would help. These guys are probably going to take care of the duelist. Hello, Calaris. Oh boy. Hostile target down. Um, whoa, it's a lot of damage. Okay. Well, in this scenario, we probably do want to use the free reload. Ready to rock. So we can still shoot. These guys are getting pretty strong. This Mox rifle coming in pretty handy. That's it. I 
definitely got that one. You definitely got that one. True. True story. I'm actually going to not use him for that just yet. Nicht schlecht. Do we have any others? There's a four. There's a three. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Still pretty good. Never mind. You know that 80% Mario. Uh, we know. Current chance to hit is at 50. That's fine. Uh, I hope that he can do this. Realized I didn't bring any med kits. Dashboards owning. Jeez. <gasps> Holy, I think we have a new sniper, Spud. We're going to start calling this guy Potato. The evolution. All right, that was probably asking a bit much. But good news is that car is going to blow up, which is just going to bring more of them. That's, this is good news. Ugh. I was hoping we would trigger that group down there. There's also the uh, Howler that we saw. We no longer have vision of. Yeah, probably sh should not have set that Overwatch up so early. See, now I feel like... If I go down here... Now, it's a bit aggressive, in my opinion. Jesus. Yeah, because that would definitely trigger them, right? I think she can just be cool here. She can take these pistol shots if she wants. It's fine. Bud will set up on an overwatch. Frick. And then if that howler howls, oh boy. Oh, nice, actually. Great target. Oh! Spud. They have to be far enough away where Rogue can't get hit here, right? There's no way he has an action from way over there. Okay. We have point blank, which we never get to use. It's overkill, so it's kind of a waste, but... I wonder, though... Okay, no, cool. I was going to say, I wonder if we still get the um, headshot procs from that. There's a two. There's a two. Four. This is taking me a lot more time than I would like. Killing off that Howler was clutch, though. That's why echt good. I'm going to take this. Nice. I was worried that he wouldn't get the damage. I wanted to make sure we get some in on this guy, if possible. Frick. Could have maybe made the argument 
that that wasn't the right play. Just realized we have this guy up top. Nice. It's like, I got you, bro. That's right. Back online. No rounds. Good pick up. Good pick up. Good pick up. Only the best. I'm ready. I'm on it. Okay, thing is, <laughs> Back in. we might have another lost pop up here. Yep. Damn it. I, got, I think I gotta go trigger that pod. But that pretty much takes uh, Dashboard out of the fight because he's only got two health. My Lanta. Well, I see food for Kieran. If I go down here, which would likely trigger that group, we still have five turns. So, you know what? Let's just, um... Let's do our best here to clean this up in one go. Nice shot. That's how it's done. Nice shot. We're gonna miss one of these high ones for sure soon. It's gonna happen. I feel it coming. Got five health. There it is. <laughs> okay. Not even close. Weapons empty. Can't engage. I'm gonna put uh, a Kieran right here. Two to three. Nice. X -ray neutralized. What's she doing for damage right now? Four to five. So that's not amazing. Okay, that's good. Look at all oh, spuds. Just spuds just sitting here loving life. We're going to take this shot with uh, with wind. Killable. We'll go on the four here. Nice job. Let's see if we can weaken this guy. We might be able to kill this one, actually. Okay, cool. I don't even care if we get the kill on this. We just need to weaken him. Fine by me. Ugh. I am a little bit concerned about the uh, the other vehicles, but we should be able to clean these guys up and move in next round. I definitely got that one. Nice AP, sure. These Talon rounds. I got it, right? Love it. You sure did, buddy. My god. He's a he's a Check he's a machine. He's not human. Convinced. I definitely got that one. Ready to engage. 
I'm not gonna hollow target. Hopefully he runs into Kirin. If he goes over here, fine. Okay. Now we can advance. Now we can advance. Do we take one extra turn to heal? Ugh. Or to get our reload in? I'm gonna send Houdini down here, see if that triggers them. And it didn't. Okay. I also have to consider, am I going to have the angle that I would like to have? Yeah, it looks like this would give it to me eventually. see if that okay so that's gonna pull them i think or maybe that's just gonna say hey we can see the thing These mutons seem a little more nope. agile we're fighting we fought in the past it looks like they're still serving as the aliens front line though almost Okay, now we can go. Got three turns left. It's doable. The alien transmission is still active and we're running out of time. Get to the relay and take it out. ASAP. On it. Heading out. Now we're not braced. That might be okay. Not great. If I bring him in here, this Muton probably want to come down and flank me. The mech's got the rockets. I'm considering... I know this will trigger lost soon. Sooner. But I do want to be in full cover. We're going to have to make some moves here. Gives me much better of a shot. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, he's almost dead. I'm tempted to move up. Because we gotta get to that objective very soon. 65. How much is my flush him out damage? Two to three. Okay. That's 65, so low. If I run Rogue in here, that might be better, but then he's likely dead from that mech. Like, very high chances of just being dead. Mm. Let's try this. Ah, that's... We rolled low. We 
We rolled low. On your order. I'm going to put a Kieran in here. Damn it. This gives me vision there. We might lose Rogue here. But I think I need to try and clear that Muton. I imagine that the mech at that point then goes for a grenade shot here, which would be bad. Because she would take the damage and the car explosion. Ugh. And if I come down here, we're flanked by the trooper easily. Hmm. The other option is I just I suicide rogue, which I don't love. Or no, I can't. Actually, I could do it from here. That's still kind of risky. Might be our best chance at keeping him alive. Not going full sacrifice. And it gives us the distraction of the lost. Oh, nice. They're going to have to run through there. This could actually work out for us. The bold move, Cotton. We'll see how it pays off. Yeah, he's coming at us. Don't love it. Okay. Okay. Taking fire over here. I mean, Rogue's alive. That's that's huge. I was I was very close to sacrificing him there. Oh, look at that shit. <sighs> I gotta get to this thing, man. So this, to my eyes, looks like we would have vision there. I kind of want to take out that trooper so that he doesn't get the... Um... So he doesn't get uh, turned into a zombie. And then she can kill the others with Blade Storm. Target neutralized. Objective position confirmed. Commander, we have a positive I need six on damage on it, guys. Six. I'm looking at where I can move him and not require a brace to shoot on that next turn. And I guess cover doesn't really matter because lost. This would still provide us cover against that mech. These two are dead. The others that are funneling through here are going to have to go there. 
Um, this Dasher could be a problem, but he can't kill him. Kind of depends what I can get done here, I guess. Do somebody with three. Very nice. If I take, if I try and kill this Dasher, we have, we have to commit to killing this guy this round. Which we have two shotguns available to do it. What's their ammo at? So he takes a kill there, moves in, takes a shot in the mech. He takes a kill here, moves in, or whatever, takes a shot in the mech. And if they get f five damage each, well, one has to do six, one has to do five. Ugh. Uh, we also, oh yeah, we have Spud, but I mean, it doesn't really help me here. Actually, hold on. Hold on. If we take these two shots with Spud, I could still dash him into this position next. And then that frees up another shot on the mech. Okay, let's do this. I got it, right? You did. Nice, okay. Check it before you get too close. So now he can move in. I don't have to hope for a kill there. I can just take this shot at 76. That one damage, you know what? That's, that's quite good still. Man, if he doesn't hit this, like, if he doesn't kill this, that would be bad. And there's a pretty decent chance that he doesn't kill it, actually. <laughs> um, but he has to, he has, we have to get this kill because that Dasher could come and kill Rogue. Okay. That's how it's done. So that's our opening. On my way. Big crit there. And actually. Because this is guaranteed damage, we only need six damage on it. It's possible that he can kill it, but it's not guaranteed. Um, the idea I have is we could take this shot, obviously. And put Rogue down in a position where he has vision as well. I think either way is fine. Okay. Parry that. Move Spud down. 
And unless something comes wrapping around here and runs right at Rogue. Oh boy. signal is fading. They've almost completed the transfer. This is your last chance to take out that relay. One turn left. Spud. The savior! Menace 1-5 with confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. So, uh, the one class that I'm struggling with a bit is definitely these marines and i imagine later on they'll become more powerful and maybe like maybe i just i haven't had a chance to use them very much so maybe some future abilities like i mean flush them out is really nice for sure As I say that, he's owning. Uh, let's just play it cool here. That's right. We're gonna need to reload soon. What did you expect? We're not done. No ammo. It's killing time. Okay, so they could come flowing out of here or come flowing down through here. Either way. On the move. We want them to be running by her. On Overwatch. I'm on it. Jesus. In theory, this should be inconsequential. In theory. I'm just going to bring dashboard back a bit. Everyone else should be fine. Affirmative. Covering now. I'll take the free reload so that I can overwatch, I guess. Rock and roll. I can't even, can I? Yeah, no, I should be able to. Moving to overwatch. Fire shots. Whoa. They just run right past her? Okay, I think... Yeah, okay. So I think the animations went past, but... Now we're seeing them all happen. <laughs> it's kind of funny. A Kieran can also control time Target and space. Yeah, see? Nicht schlecht. 
All right. We're still not done. Oh yeah. Come get some. I'll set up a brace now. Still not done. I'm on it. Come get some. Heading out. Cling to Machba. Do we still have a pot out here? We must, because, like... Negative damage. Got one hiding around the corner. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know what... Natürlich. Or where they could be. Absolutely. We're going to go. Holding position. Beat the fire shots. Got it covered. We're not getting any indications of where they're at. On your order. Drone unterwegs. I worry that if we get a brute showing. That he runs at us, and she blade storms, and uh, like a boil bursts all over us. That would be bad. Come on, give me something here. The world is crumbling around us. Oh, that was rogue I moved. I actually didn't mean to do that. We should get a reload in on wind soon, too. There! Okay, so we do have an actual pod. I'm gonna bring Spud here. If they don't come around this corner, we're going to set up a brace.
and then we'll advance next round. We've come this far. Jesus. Heading out. Nothing. Moving to position. Kein Problem, boss. If you say so. Take the high ground. I know this is riveting to watch, but... Okay, and then we go next round. Oh, I bet you they're back in this building, aren't they? On the way. Oh, nope. Hello. That's a pretty decently sized group, I will say. Hunter down there. We're in full cover. This Muton might have a grenade. I don't think he can come all the way down here to flank or anything. We also have 100% to hit from up top. And then I probably send her down here to maybe kill this hunter? Let's start with this. Since he's got... Oh, beautiful. No other options. Didn't quite get the kill, but... Still good. Regardless, she kills him on the blade storm next turn. Uh Could go for the flush here, but I kind of want to save the flush for this muton. I kind of want to save it. And just in case something crazy happens. Yep. Kind of expected that. Yikes. Watch the side. Now also, I don't want to throw a Kieran in there. Because of uh the counterattack. But I actually think there's value in Taking out his cover here, even though it's noisy. Do we have anyone else that can do this? Actually? We do. We do. I'm on it.
And I'm hoping that that gets us a shot with Spud, which it does. Oh, ho, ho. Come on, big boy. Ugh, that's not the most amount of damage I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> Just keeping it interesting. Just keeping it interesting. I think we just go all in. Not a problem. Beautiful. I would have sent Rogue too if that didn't get the kill. But we got it. Hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. 69 enemies, baby. 69. MVP, Akuran. Yep. Makes sense. See all these medals. Beautiful work. Spud. 118 damage. Dude. Overqualified wind. He did pretty good in the end there. Rogue. Had to kind of keep... I had to babysit him. His HP so low. The, uh... Not created equal is kind of kicking us a little bit there. But now we've got mutons and mechs. A little scary. The speaker commended loyal citizens today for standing up to those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. The remarks followed a moment of silence for peacekeepers slain by XCOM dissidents. The aliens sure know how to turn a planet into a Halloween theme park. Zombie swarms. Zombie swarms. Okay, what's up here? So breakthrough. Gain one partial movement action point refunded after a turn ending melee attack. This penalty is reduced to 25% when triggered with a light weapon. So we can use this as kind of like an implacable. Right? But you only get 50% of your mobility after the attack. Breakthrough trigger on any melee attack, hit or miss, so long as it normally the attack would normally end the unit's turn. Does not stack, will be removed after moving. Deep reserves, plus two mobility when running gun is activated, and the cooldown of running gun is reduced by one turn. The bonus to mobility from activating running gun will last until the beginning of your next turn. Okay. And breaching maneuver. Gain one partial action point. 50% mobility penalty refunded after a turn ending attack on a stunned or disoriented target with the assault. Oh, within the. Okay. Within the CQB dominance radius. Reduced by 25 with a bullpup or knife. Breaching maneuver will trigger on any kind of attack, hit or miss. This is very specific. Stunned or disoriented target. So I think the idea is to pair this with prep for entry, right? So what happens is you. You activate prep for entry, which is free. Then you toss the grenade, like a flashbang, into the room, right? You, you, you stack up on the door, activate prep for entry, toss a flashbang. All of that is free. Um, and then you have breaching maneuver where you take your shot on a disoriented target, hit or miss, and then you can, like, move. It seems very specific. But if you guys have ideas on that, let me know. I think... Man, reducing running gun cooldown is nice. Reducing running gun cooldown is nice. I think I'm going to take this. Breakthrough is also good. Like, Implacable is really nice to have. But... Yeah. And then if I put the combat knife on, that's a two-point reduction. Okay, Ever Vigilant is really nice. Automatic Overwatch. But generally, we're not doing that. Pin him down. Suppression abilities now apply 35% mobility penalty. I do like this. 
Unlike the aim penalty normally applied, the mobility penalty from pin him down is not removed after the target is shot or moves. You can't stack it. And then splinter armor. Attacks with your primary weapon shred armor. Well. Gain a dedicated ammo inventory slot? Oh, sick. Okay, well, pin him down is awesome, but we need shredding. And we, I was wondering if we're going to have any shredding. Uh, so there we go. Oh, that's bugged. So this is saying assault rifle shred one armor, machine gun shred two, but in here it says two and two. That, that's got to just be a typo. Okay. I'm just taking a look here. Cannons, machine guns. You don't get the reaction shots aim bonus. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take splinter armor for shredding. That just up to their value for sure. Assault imagery can now use movement only action points to hunker down. Automatically hunker. I think I'm going to take Honed Edge here again, just because it's really powerful, but it'd be cool to experiment with that other one. Superior Expanded Mag is sweet. Hello, Commander. There's our new Marine. Corporal Maxwell Conrad. Oh, sick. Let's meet him. How close are we on promotion here? 35 on 40. That's big. Okay, Cage. First of all, we'll do your promotions here. So, Marine, we've got Danger Zone. Flush him out, which we took. Covering Fire. What's his aim at? 68. That'll go up when we select this. Maybe... I think we might go danger zone here. You thought I talk too much, Commander. How about these chosen? Huh? <laughs> I thought he was talking about me for a second. I think I'm gonna take danger zone, and I'm gonna immediately switch his weapon to the uh, to the cannon. This is the uh, legacy thing. But I'm just going to switch this over for now. Dude, you look badass. Maxwell Cage Conrad. Okay, so USA 1998. At 17 during the invasion, Max was too young to get into the fight. I remember him slipping through the cracks by lying about his age, but that alone wasn't enough for him to be recommended to the XCOM initiative. Despite trying anything and everything, he never got the chance before the war was over. He never really got over it. America, as you know, Bradford, has plenty, has guns aplenty. Texas, heh, might as well count half their population as firearms with citizenship. There was no shortages of resistance cells down there, but he easily found a home in all of them. He was known to be a crack shot, able to third eye an alien from a mile away. Despite his aggressive tendency, his time in the military during the invasion stuck with him just a bit too much for him to get rid of. They employed him as a sniper to cover for his not subpar physique, but less than stellar. He was weirdly patient and normally quiet, so they figured he'd fit in that kind of group just fine. Yeah, I, it'd be cool if he was a sniper, but he ain't. He's not. Nothing of note happened between the start of the Resistance and now, except for one single event. It was a raid on an Advent Supply Depot. He caught wind of mag weapons that had yet to be imprinted onto anyone, and I'm sure you can figure out the rest. Max was to light the signal by taking out the lieutenant in charge right off the bat as he patrolled the compound. The bloody thing stubbed his foot against a rock, uh, on the ground as he fired the shot, naturally missing entirely and alerting everyone to our presence. We won, but so many died because of it that Max held himself personally responsible for their deaths. And as far as I'm aware, he has not forgiven himself for it. Interesting. Maybe that's the reason. Here we go. After that, he put the gun down and punished himself by becoming a non-combatant. A few times he had a choice, but to pick up a gun, he grabbed whatever was nearest. Shotgun, rifle, pistol, sub, cannon, anything. If you can... Get him to forgive himself for something that truly wasn't his fault. You'll never find a better dead eye than him. Texan resistance warrior. Bradford's post recruitment follow up investigation. That's cool. So, in a way, it's like better dead eye. So, he's still aiming to be a sniper, but he's also saying he'll shoot anything. So, very nice. Welcome to the team, Conrad. You're going to be awesome here, dude. Hell yeah. Okay. 
Now, we're going to start building some buildings. We have power being constructed. We have supplies out there. We're going to um, finish scanning for these rookies. Avengers, and we're going to build this tower. Force. God. It's still going to be a few... <laughs> it's going to be a few days before we can get extra contacts. The aliens have made significant progress toward their Yikes. Goals. New advent facilities are cropping up around the world. Finally, we arrive upon the asylum of those depraved enough to defy the elders. Okay, so we have a higher influence with them now. Gained XP across the board. The elders never had any issues targeting civilians. Deeper learning too. The resistance is yes. on us to protect their Very people. nice. We can't let them down. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. We've just received some new intel on the chosen, Commander. Slowly but steadily, our faith in your word grows, Commander. We continue to progress in our campaign against the elders, and now we gain new abilities as a result. Our influence with the Resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the Chosen. So, I'm going to finish these rookies being scanned here. And then put those guys into the ring. Hey, Okucho, right of Futo. And Byron Crane. Very cool. I will shine as the Elder's true Chosen. The rightful heir to has been in campaigns previously. Ruler of the new world, That's Commander, so sick. Of the ring Look at that. Our idle soldiers on a covert action with the resistance. I know, Dad. Okay. Dad encrypted pinging server retrying, retrying, access granted, defragmenting? Okichio Raitofuto, soldier number 6348, male, 5'9", 194 pounds, 3 ounces. Occupation, pre-incursion, member of Japan Police Force, incursion, designated marksman role. Status, cap, MIA, recording found, play, yes, no. Playback, 2014, be before the end of the first world, or first encounter war. There's another Zed down. Keep going. An unseen voice calls out. The playback shows the roof of a truck and the lower two-thirds of a person. This can be assumed to be Hokuchio's feed from his armor during this operation. Let Lucas, the store, the man called as he scanned the parking lot before locking onto a chrysalid bursting out of the storefront that had been blown apart by wreckage. The camera pans to show two soldiers below him by the truck's cabin and another soldier hiding behind the frame of a blown-out car. The chrysalid advances rapidly and praises Lucas and raises Lucas into the air. Fangs flash. The body hits the ground. Lucas, right Futo, shouts. What is the hell is that thing? He caught Lucas. Damn it, damn it. The two soldiers beneath him yell. The female soldier opens fire, bullets spraying wide and peppering the storefront. None find their target. The other soldier seems to cower behind their cover. Back at Yaru Shinjimai. Close, probably. Right Futo yells and whips out his handgun, firing several rounds in the chrysalid, dropping on the spot. Focus up, everyone. We have to get Lucas out of... Suko? He would swear again. Lucas Rose, now a Zed like the ones killed moments ago. Radio crackling in his ears, he hears a voice. Someone in power. Guys, I'm sorry to ask you of this. You have to put him down. Red Fudo, make it quick and painless, spoke the commander as Red Fudo took aim with the last of his magazine in his pistol and took a shot. The majority of the shots went wide, plinking off the ruined car, but one found its mark. Uzai, I'm sorry, Lucas. He apologized as the other two soldiers regained themselves and finished their comrade off. Damn. More glass shatters. Sounds like a skittering talons and groaning beast came, come from the storefront. The chrysalids come in a large pack. Several Zeds join in them. Fall back. I will hold them off. Oku calls below and begins opening fire. The two other soldiers fall back to a destroyed section of wall, providing cover fire. Hoku, come on. And the woman yells as Ho Hokichio seems to stand his ground. Firebrand was too far away. Not everyone was going to make it. Come on! The male reiterated as they continued to fire on the advancing horde. Several Zeds now occupied the space around the truck. My friends, be safe! Run! Raidofuto yelled and peeled and waved them off. More gunfire. The scream distracts him and he feels pain go through his back to his chest. He hits the ground and the camera feeds obscured. XCOM defeated, one captured. Closing back door. Hello, Commander. My death has been exaggerated. <laughs> Uh, that's cool. I don't, that's not how you spell exaggerated, but it's fine. Uh, this soldier, we just added him, like, a couple days ago. And so that shows, if you guys still want to submit sol soldiers, 
once we review it and it's in the pool, you have just as much of a chance of showing up as somebody that submitted day one. So, uh, very cool. Looking really neat, too. Okay. Um, the Vulture. Iron the Vulture Crane. Date of birth, May 18, 2006. As a child, Byron lost both of his parents to the first XCOM war. Something about a bad call while fighting mutons or whatnot. Then left his grandfather, an ex-general, to raise him. Spent his days listening to the stories of the Pop Pop's glory days, watching old western movies, and camping out under the stars until that sad day happened. While he was out hunting with his grandfather, an advent strike team led by the hunter was on the move, trying to flush out the resistance from the wooded area. Seeing his grandfather as a threat, they opened fire leaving the old war dog to die a slow and painful death. This gave Byron all the opportunity to join the newly reforged XCOM in hopes to avenge his family. A cowboy out in the field, dead or alive, he's gonna make him pay. Cool. Simple, straight to the point. Very nice. I'm just taking a look at some of the... Uh, front gear that these guys are wearing. There's a lot of uh, similar ones. But they've done a pretty good job as a whole. Okay. So we're going to put these guys in the ring. And I might just go here just to gain additional resistance orders and covert actions. A scientist is tempting. We do have to put a sergeant in, which means one of these guys can't come along in the next fight, but... I would kind of like them all to come. These two for sure. If anybody, I put Fili in there. Um, we would have to bring out Genevieve, I think. Just probably okay, maybe, possibly. We'll do like so. Negate soldier wound. Ah, oh, there is an ambush chance. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Hmm. Maybe until we can place that other card where we negate the ambushes. Strategically, I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Let's do this instead. We can put in some of our mid-level soldiers that need uh, a chunk of experience to get promoted. Uh, we could consider putting our Marine in there. Or, you know what we'll do? Because we were talking earlier about needing a, a Marksman. He's got the higher initial aim. Let's put him in there for the promotion. And we'll put uh, Right of Futo in there. And wound-wise, I think we're okay. We'll hold on to our Illyrium. Plus, we get another Scientist. I think this is alright. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Okay, so one day on debris here. Power's coming. Uh, this will clear. What we could even do is we could stack power. Uh, we could build another power relay here so that we have extra. And then the Reapers that way, by the time this one's done, this will be clear. We can build whatever we want. And we'll have power set up for the future. Actions have enraged the elders. Okay, so now we're going up here. Setting course for the Arctic. Maximum power consumption reached. So the things that we Maximum really want, we want reached. proving grounds and resistance comms. Um. Hmm. Maybe building a power relay here is not the play. Maybe we just put her in there. These two still finish, and then we can build resistance comms here. And then we can build proving ground here. Then we build our other power on this power coil. Yeah, I think that's the better play. We just leave this empty for now. Do we want to put Philly in here to get rid of this trait? 
it's against Lost, right? If I'm not mistaken. So we probably can hold off on that for a sec. Yeah. All right. So nine days. So after the next mission. And we have mag weapons coming here. Chosen are much more likely to appear. Oh, that's freaking terrible. Oh, <laughs> shit. That was the hidden one. All right. Just as you are driven to free your people from nice. the These magnetic based weapons. Mag weapons. Boom, 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 boom. Yaus inspired. I mean. I mean, I gotta take that. I gotta take it. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. Once we get a mag sniper rifle on Spud. Whoo! Uh, okay. Mock squad, baby. Probably warlock too, Where which sucks. <laughs> There's our double agent. Okay, we, a whole bunch of cool things just happened. Um, I think we're gonna try this. Haven't forced skeleton crew because of the mocks. Yeah, baby. Okay. Spud for sure. Reaper for sure. Medkit there. <laughs> the funny thing is... Oh, what's this? Error ghost grenade. Oh, okay. So this, I don't know why this is showing right now, but I'll report this to the CX guys. This is a chrysalid chameleon corpse. This is a hive thing, which we haven't run into yet. Anytime now, I think we're going to hit the hive. And this is a ghost grenade from like the old school days. Okay, so what are we low on? Illyrium, we only have 30. 10 alloys on the shard gun. I think we gotta first take the mag rifle. Okay, so we've got mag rifle there. Vector rifle comes with Gauss, I believe. Um, Gauss for Spud. And then... Now, is, is this the mission where it has the timer for hacking the thing in the middle? I wonder. Take the mag bullpup. Hmm. I like this, obviously. This is really nice to help uh, Spud. I mean, these guys can hit stuff. It's possible. I don't know that I want to equip these on here. I kind of want to save those for, like, when we get Gauss. He's got the armor. We could take an incendiary grenade for the mock squad, actually. But we don't have any... Hmm. Other grenades would be quite nice. Just to, like, deal with cover and stuff. Mind you, we have Spud. However, his high ground is going to be tougher to, to get. But I really want him out here so that we get the promotion. I might take a flashbang here. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't feel like an 
ideal build? Hmm. I'll think on it. If I if I decide to change it, obviously I'll show you guys before I start. But thank you guys so much for watching, hey?